Oh my God. So here is another $6,000. Back in the spring, I actually contacted the folks at Ego and I asked them for a meeting. I had this idea that I would fly up to Northwest Indiana, Crown Point, where my channel started, and while there, I'll film some summer lawn content specifically on weed control. We'll also feature Ego tools all along the way, but while I'm there, I'll find a homeowner, a DIYer who could use some help with a fresh setup of top quality tools and maybe even a little something more, and we'll make it a big surprise. Here's the thing, none of that went as planned. All right, we're heading over now. We're gonna spray some weeds, and we got two different weed controls we're gonna use. It's gonna be fun for beginners and for advanced, but really, you guys just wanna see what happens if we kill weeds, so we're gonna do that too. All right, y'all, so today we are here in Northwest Indiana in Griffith. I'm here with my friend Luke, the Turf King. How you doing, everyone? We are here early and ready to spray some weeds. Today, we're actually gonna take you through a DIY weed control versus a professional formulation. And uh, you guys know I've always taught you over the years to start with something from over the counter, see how that does for you, then move to professional if you need it. And so today we're gonna compare the two side by side, spray some weeds, and see how we do. You ready to go, Luke? I'm ready, let's hit it. Let's do it. Now the weed control we're spraying today, these are called selective herbicides, which means they're selective about what they kill, which are broadleaf weeds, and they will not harm the lawn. So that's what these are called, the selective herbicides. And actually you're gonna notice the active ingredients in each of these are very, very similar. So this DIY store-bought, this costs $19.99, so 20 bucks, and covers 6,200 square feet. This, the professional, $38, right? This is online. So people look at those and they go, well, this must be better, but check this out. This covers 6,200 square feet. This covers 21,000 square feet. So $38 for 21,000 square feet or $20 for 6,200 kind of seeing where we're going here in this DIY versus professional. So this is almost double the price, but it covers more than three times the square footage that this does. And the reason I point that out is because when you're doing your math, when you're looking at things, you always want to read the labels to understand exactly what you're getting so you can, you know, maximize your budget and get the most free money. <laughs> All right, so this is 1.5 ounces. So you're going to pour that one. This is called a tip and pour. Tip and pour. Ah, that was my nickname in college. Hey! <laughs> All right, so the DIY, we need 6.4 ounces for every 1,000 square feet of lawn area. That's for a blanket spray. Whereas with the professional, it's only 1.5 ounces. So I just wanted to illustrate that. You can see the difference here. So much more highly concentrated, you need a lot less to get the job done than here. And that's kind of where the cost comes in as well. Because this is higher concentrated, it can go further and that can make your dollars go further too. But I just thought that was an interesting illustration in the two differences there and how much is actually needed. So you'll mix these, each one of these into one gallon of water and now you have enough volume of spray mix to cover a larger area. And so that's what we're gonna do next. We're actually gonna go into spraying the weeds, but I'm gonna show you a little trick you can use to make your weed control work even better. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and mix them up. We'll put the uh, store-bought in that one. We're gonna fill up with water halfway first. These are two gallon sprayers, but we're just gonna fill up one gallon of weed control today. So yeah, you're, so when I say halfway, it's a half a gallon of water in first. You wanna put water into these before you add your concentrate. Is there a reasoning for that, Al? For adding the water first? Yeah. Uh, just so it mixes up properly. If you put these concentrates in the bottom, they'll stick to the bottom. So you want some water in there adequately so they can start to create the solution. You said it's about half, right? That's good. So that's 6.4 ounces. This is going in one gallon of water total. Uh, we'll finish filling in a minute. Let me put in this half 1.5 here. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna show you a way to make your weed control work better. So this is- Insider tip right here. This is no tears baby shampoo. We're gonna use this as what's called a surfactant. Now what a surfactant does is it breaks the surface tension of water so that it allows, basically it allows the liquid to be wetter. So I'll take you now and I'll show you what a weed looks like that's sprayed without a surfactant. And I'll take you and show you one that's sprayed with a surfactant and you can see how the coverage, the coating is much, the, what, what's the word I'm More robust. For? More robust, yes. It's a more robust coverage. But basically that's what it does. How much should we use of this? We're gonna use one ounce per gallon of spray mix. And you want the no tears baby shampoo. We don't want any other junk in it, just no tears. One ounce. Here we go. What's the best way to agitate? Uh, I, just, I just swirl. 
there is, we do have shampoo in here, so we don't want this to get too foamy. That is the drawback to using the baby shampoo you get. How'd you keep yours from getting so foamy? Okay, we're all aired up, pumped up, ready to go. We're gonna spray the weeds until wet. Now we're gonna spray over there because we have a blanket of weeds. We're gonna go ahead and blanket control everything. So no spot sprays. We're spraying everything and hoping for the best. Ready, spray and pray, bro? Let's spray and pray. Let's do it. Now we realize this isn't the greatest lawn, y'all. We're gonna probably work on this in the fall, see what we can do with it. They got a big mole problem here. Right here, I just almost fell into the core of the earth. But they do have a nice set of weeds back here. So that's the idea is this half here, there's a maple tree right here. This half here is what we're gonna spray with the DIY weed control. Is there any way that I should walk a certain way? Out? I mean, I would just go back and forth. In a yeah, and just, yeah, and walk slow so everything gets wet. You'll see, there you go. Oh, that's a nice spray. Yeah, not too bad. All right, so now I've got the professional weed control and I'm gonna spray this half over here, this side over here, and then we're gonna come back in a few days and see which one did better. So you'll notice I'm walking slow enough that I can see the weeds are getting wet. That's the whole idea here, is the weeds need to get wet. If they're not wet, then the weed control can't penetrate. And the way it penetrates is systemically, so it gets into the plant and it works its way down to the root. That's how these oxen herbicides work, so that's why we use that surfactant to help everything to stick better, to make the water wetter, so we get more of the weed control actually contacting the leaf. All right, y'all, so there we go. We sprayed, we prayed, two different sides, DIY and professional. What do you think, bro? I think we're gonna have some carnage. Carnage, all right. Well, we're gonna come back here in a few days, get some after footage, and we're gonna see which one did better. The DIY, the pro, or maybe they did the same. I don't know. What's your prediction? I think that maybe the commercial is going to kill faster because mm. of a difference in ingredients. Well, there's some definite hard to identify weeds here. So yeah, we have a lot of a lot of uh, hard to kill weeds, especially as we get later into the season. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see what happens. So that little phrase I mentioned there, hard to kill weeds, especially as we get further into summer. Well, that became quite prophetic. You see, I had grabbed two herbicides there: over-the-counter BioAdvanced and a professional formulation called Triad. Both of these are for cool season lawns and they're great general purpose weed controls containing 2,4-D, dicamba, and MCPA. Now here's the thing, that footage was shot back in the first week of June and at that time the spring was still hanging on and so we were fine there. But what I neglected to pay attention to were the actual weeds we were dealing with. Me lacking in basic observation skills meant that a week later when Luke went back to get the after shots there was very little if any difference. Chicory and Violet, they're just not controlled by either of the herbicides that we applied. Now don't get me wrong, we did get some knockdown of the various broadleaf weeds on both sides, and the results were about equal in fact, but still not good enough. So I took the same advice that I always give you guys, and I purchased a herbicide with a little bit more horsepower, or in this case, some additional active ingredients that would indeed control the problems that we were dealing with. T-Zone SE was ordered and rushed to Indiana where Jake the Lawn Kid was able to get out and make a follow-up application for me. T-Zone contains those additional active ingredients sulfentrazone and triclopyr, and with this we did get much better control. So the plan worked. Sort of. Alright, Al, this is the sprayed area and this is the unsprayed area, but here's the difference. Crabgrass, still alive, other weeds dead all the weeds still alive here. So I will say, it didn't kill the crabgrass. I didn't expect it to, really. But I knew it would kill everything else. It killed the sedges. Look at that. Whoa. It did kill the sedges. And it's pretty much wilting all the other broadleaf weeds, but didn't kill the crabgrass. You see, what I did not account for was the fact that the weather is going to change. This, this was shot a full two months ago, and there was no pre-emergent for crabgrass applied. So while we are making some progress on the weeds, crabgrass has pretty much come in now and taken over. So it's the middle of summer now, and of course I'm not in Indiana, so I have to wait and see what happens in the fall. But I hope you seeing my struggles and the mistakes that I made along the way will also help you as you go after your battle with weeds in your life. Thank you for hanging with me so far in this video because truth be told, there was a much bigger purpose for my visit to Crown Point. 
And as you're about to find out here in a minute, that didn't go as planned either, but in a much more awesome way. So before we get there though, would you please help me out and hit that like button? I'd love it if this video got shared far and wide because the message here is important and all the likes and shares, they do help. So remember how I told you that while we were in town, we were gonna find a homeowner in need and hook them up with some ego tools? Let me show you what we got for her. So the cool thing about Ego is, is they didn't even hesitate. When talking to Joe uh, and Steven, who is also uh, one of their executives there, they were like, this is what we're all about. This is what we do. And so they were on board, didn't even hesitate. I asked them for tools. I asked them for money. They said, yes, let's do it. Let's go. What do you need? How soon can we make it happen? They have just been an incredible partner. And I'm telling you what, it's awesome to see these companies that are within our community that we are using their equipment. It's really awesome to see them jump in. And Ego was the first, and again, without hesitation. So I wanna thank the folks at Ego for coming on board with us. We can't wait to see what we do in the future. But again, Ego, you will always be first. You will always be the most special to us. And I hope we can do in a little bit more in the future as we get this bigger and better. So while we were there, I had been reaching out to friends all over Northwest Indiana, kind of saying, hey, do you guys know of a homeowner DIYer that could use some really good lawn equipment like a trimmer and a blower and a mower? And one of my friends said, hey, you need to reach out to Ryan and Buffy over at St. Jude House because they have a former client that actually is in need of some lawn equipment. I'm thinking, St. Jude House, I've heard of that before, but I didn't really know what it is or what it was. And so when we got over there, that's when things really took a turn that I never could have imagined. We are heading into the St. Jude house and we are going to interview the director here, find out a little bit more about what they do and how they help women here in this community and then uh, we're going to make a presentation, which will be fun. Let's see if we can help them take care of this clover in the lawn. Hi. Hello. I'm Buffy. Hi Buffy. Alan. Alan, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, come on in guys. This is my business partner Josh here hey. with me. Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm Ryan. Alan, nice to Alan, meet you. Nice to my name's Ryan Olenkowski. I'm the executive director here at St. Jude House, and we've been here since 1995. So we're approaching 27 years of service. We've served a little over 14,500 survivors in that time. And, um, you know, really we offer a, a, a safe place, but more than that, co um, compassionate and comprehensive services. Uh, to survivors and victims of domestic violence. Really, um, I mean, the, the homicide rate since March of 2020 in the state of Indiana is up, the last time they ran the numbers, 181% for domestic violence related homicides. So we have 40 beds here, um, encompassing nine rooms, and that doesn't account for toddler beds and cribs. So yeah, I heard about um, Lawn Mastery, wanted to do something for, for a client that uh, we, we had served. When I heard about the client that you're gonna be helping, um, I was just filled with joy because this particular client um, has has spoke with our board of directors before. Um, she, you know, she's an amazing person, and I think what's really special about Yard Mastery or when community partners reach out is, you know, this is a client that we have served in the past, but you know that ongoing support in different ways and unique ways to to provide that is is really special and really helps. Um, our survivors, you know, one in four women, and um, some statistics are different, one in seven or one in nine men um, will be a victim of intimate partner violence in their lifetime. So really, you know, everyone kind of knows someone. So, you know, we want to be able to talk about that. This is a community. Truly, our team works really hard to serve the survivors um, and victims of domestic violence. We also wanted to bring something for you all, a little bit of extra in our budget. So we wanted to oh, donate 5,000 to you guys. This is oh my gosh, this is so yes. amazing. That's super generous. That's huge for us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you come in town bringing all kinds of joy. Yeah. I'll cut you that. <laughs> Yep, absolutely. Thank you. So as a lot of you all know, I actually lived here in Crown Point for about 15 years. And it's funny because I drove by the St. Jude House, I don't know, hundreds of times for sure. And I never really knew what it was. I'd seen it, but I didn't know it was there. And so when we got to go in and take the tour, that was really eye-opening to realize that there is such a need in our community. And even to realize that domestic violence and abuse is in, it happens in ways you don't consider. So we are really, fortunate that we're, we found them and we're able to partner with them as well. And again, this is all part of this whole piece of content that we're doing here, us partnering together with Ego. We're both have skin in the game here and we are, you know, putting in um, our assets, our value, our platforms into helping these folks. And so it was really nice to meet the folks at the St. Jude House. And I'm always going to have a heart for this place and always want to really help out. And St. Jude House is definitely somebody that's going to be, we're going to be working with in the future. All right. Wish me luck. I'm gonna go get some cash. You're welcome. Bigster? What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? What's the handshake? Oh, good to see you. Check it out. The original LCN house. So, yeah, we, uh, we're, we're doing some top secret stuff for Aquathum. <laughs> Oh, can I drive that? All right, we got to check out patio furniture. Where's that? Yeah, but so you can put an umbrella in here. Cushions, four seats. I don't think that. What's wrong? Are you eating it? Why are you doing that? For the content. We are trying to find out how much patio furniture costs. Something like this, because then they can all eat dinner out back. There's something special about a family dinner outside. Four thousand, and that way she can get a couple things, like a table, chairs. I'm definitely gonna get her this. We're at Mariana's house. Big surprises. People don't really talk about it. It's shameful first that you've been abused for so long, usually with like these pretty pictures posted all over the place. So everyone thinks like, you know, your family and your life is perfect and it's not. With my son, I was never able to be at home with him. And I felt like I missed so much of his life. And then when I got pregnant with my daughter and I had my daughter, I was told this story that I could be at home and it seemed so great. And there were things that were great, like to be around my children, but that stripped me of my financial freedom. When I escaped my abuse, and I'll say my final abuser, because I was abused in one way, shape or form my entire life. I'm not gonna get into all the details, but the weeks leading up were the worst weeks. And I was abused in every single possible way that you could imagine so um yeah uh the final night i am literally running for my life through the front yard screaming trying to get to a neighbor you would think somebody would call somebody nobody called you know that night i could have died Thank God I did not, but I could have, you know, and there's women out here. Oh, okay. yeah, I'm a crier. We went to the police station and then I went to my friend's house where he found us. Um, and I stayed with my friend. When I got out of my final situation, um, and that's when I went to St. Jude House. St. Jude House helped me a lot, the support, you feel so misunderstood for so long and then you walk into this building of people who get it and it's like, because you thought you were crazy. The whole time you're abused, you think you're insane because that's what an abuser does. They twist your ideas, you know? I found my faith. And when I found my faith, I found a purpose. God provided in so many different ways. 
Hi, Mariana. Hi. Hi. Hey, Alan, how are you? Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. These are my children. So hey, I'm guys. <laughs> <laughs> Come on out here. Listen, I got some stuff for you. Come on out here. So I appreciate you guys coming out. I, uh, I know this is kind of strange surprising you and coming up here, but so I do YouTube, I take care of lawns, all that kind of stuff. And part of what we do with our company is we find homeowners and we want to give back to them. We find homeowners that might need some help, DIY or something we can do to give back. And as part of why I'm here is I have a partner that I work with called Ego that makes battery tools, the finest battery tools. And I went to them and I said, listen, I said, I want to do something special for a DIYer and I want to do it in Northwest Indiana because that's where I used to live. And I said, here's what we want to do. We want to find somebody that needs some lawn tools and we want to hook them up. And so I heard that you actually are in need of some lawn tools. Desperately. <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing so much on my own for so long, but I'm not really great at asking people for things because I'm like, I can just take care of it, you know? But finally I was fed up, like, you know, like I need help. One of the things was like, I need help with my lawn. Like my mower's busted. I can't fix it. I can't afford a lawn mower. And I just, I like, prayed about it. You had a lawn mower that you were working on that kind of was breaking or you fixed or somebody fixed? Somebody fixed it. It did not stay fixed. Um, and then it came time to mow lawns and I had no mower. So that's, this is like amazing. It's incredible. So the first thing is when you're mowing lawns, you obviously have to have a mower. So we have a nice battery powered mower, top of the line. So right here, this is a 21 inch self-propelled select cut mower. Now what's nice about this, there's a lot of nice things about it, but it all runs on battery. And then what else is nice, no matter who's mowing, you can give it different height adjustments. Oh, cool. See? And yeah. it's really easy. You don't have to do anything else. There's no craziness to it. And it cuts great. So now you're going to have the most beautiful cut. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Now, I wanted to make sure, though, because cutting is important, but edging and weed whacking, you know, getting the string trim and done. If you're going to go DIY, you got to go <laughs> all the way, right? Yeah. So we also got this right here is a top-of-the-line string trimmer. This has a carbon fiber shaft. So not the old school metal. And what that does is it's gonna take out all of the vibration. So it just makes this oh. buttery smooth and easy to use. Okay. <laughs> the nice thing is, is that the batteries are interchangeable. So if you have other Ego equipment, all the batteries work together. Very cool. And you get plenty of runtime out of that. And that'll give you, do all your edging and all the string trimming. Now, at the end of that though, it's gonna be a little messy. So Ego also said, let's send you a blower. So this is the, most powerful blower you can get. It even says industry's most powerful blower and I believe them. <laughs> the legal advocate from St. Jude House, she calls me and I didn't know anything about you guys. I knew nothing. I thought I was getting some hand-me-down stuff from some like lawn care business that was going out of business or something. I was like, Pam, I was like, this is God. Like God is answering this prayer for me. I would have been perfectly fine with hand-me-down stuff from anybody, so long as it worked. But um, but yeah, so she called, you know, she asked if I had a home, I said, yeah. And she gave me that little bit. And then the more conversations I had, I was like, oh, wow. Like this is, this is, God is really answering a prayer. Like he didn't answer it little, he answered it really big. So that is all for you. So we got some stuff for you guys too. I don't want to leave you all out. We're going to start with your sister, is that okay? All right, so I heard you like arts and crafts. Am I right about that? I don't know what kind of arts and crafts you're into, but I'm, I guessed, okay? So I thought this looked pretty neat. Now I wanna make sure that when you're drawing that you have the proper paper because you gotta have good paper, or I don't think it works right. But don't worry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if this one wins. How about this? That looked pretty fun to me. Is that a cool thing? Is that an artsy crafty thing? But I don't, I don't know if that works for me. So what I wanna do for you, Rhiannon, is I want to give you a thousand dollars to go and get any other arts and crafts stuff or school stuff or whatever else you want. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done, Dominic. Now, let's come over here. I like this guy. <laughs> I heard that you like Jordans. That's what I heard. Now, I, di I didn't know a lot about Jordans, so I guessed. I guessed. So these have a release date. <laughs> here, I'll hold them for you. 
Oh, I just need to find an outfit for these. These look really good. All right, take them out. Let's show them. Let's see. Yeah, I got, you got to style them, right? That's what they yeah. call that? You got to style them? I'm going to keep them in the box, though. Oh, because oh, you care. All right, so he knows what he's talking about. No, no. I don't want to touch your kicks, bro. I got you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now, no, we're not done, though. Yeah. We figured we would try these that stood out real nice. Oh, my God. Yo, I don't, like, I don't know how I'm going to do all of this, bro. Could you style though? I mean, look I at the could, color I on could. that. That is. Br I'm gonna leave it in the box. I don't. Look at I, the color. You see how that shines? Look at that. I could definitely. This had DJ Khaled on it, so I figured it had to be legit. That's a cleaning kit, so oh, you can keep them. Kit? Yeah, like a well. It's, oh, I needed one of these. Too. The ultimate sneaker care kit, just in case I wasn't good enough. I also wanted you to have a thousand dollars to get yourself. Maybe maybe you need some 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 jeans or something else to style them up with or whatever. So now I think this would be enough for you to to take care of that, right? Are we good? <laughs> All right. It is hard to make my son have an emotional response to anything. <laughs> Sneakers seem so stupid, you know, like this like little thing. I can't do a lot. I do what I can, but that's when I can. And he loves these sneakers and I get it. Like they're cool shoes, man. Like I like, sh I like shoes too, uh, you know, but like I never could have imagined. All right, Mariana. So listen, there's a lot more that goes along with lawn care here. This is just going to get you started. Okay. So I thought to myself, we need you to get some string because you got to have string for your string trimmer and maybe you're going to want some more batteries. Maybe you're going to need a, something else, right? So what do we got here, Josh? So we wanted to give you $2,000 to spend on any other lawn care stuff that you might need for your house. <laughs> You're not done, just so you know. <laughs> so you get it? You I'm an emotional person. Uh, me too. That's okay. <laughs> That's summer, right? We're out of school. Are you guys out of school? So when I lived here, there was two places I like to go. I like to go to Deep River, but I also like to go to Great America. And so when you go to Great America, you have to stay overnight, and you have to stay in a really, really nice place when you go. So we want to send you all to Great America. So here's another $2,000 for you to have a nice summer family vacation and it can be anywhere you want it doesn't have to be great America but we want you to just go and have a nice summer family vacation <clears throat> together okay now we're not done <laughs> so the other thing is you're a homeowner like me and I know houses always need stuff and it can be anything and you may not even be thinking of anything right now but you're like when you get home you'll know there's things that you need and I also heard that you might want to have some patio furniture because now you're gonna have a really nice lawn and so it's nice, especially on a night like this, to sit out on your patio, y'all can hang out in the nice lawn. So I went to look at patio furniture the other day because I haven't priced it in a while. It is not cheap. So we decided we wanted to give you, and this all comes from Ego too. This is not just me, this is Ego. I went to them and said, Ego, I want you guys to pony up here and help me out to help somebody that's really in need. So here is another $6,000 for you to take and buy anything that you need for your house. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, that's a wrap. <laughs> and you don't have to carry all that home. We will help you get it home. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. I work so much. She does work so much. Well, you deserve it. I never, I never could have imagined. Um, I'm just, yeah, it's amazing. I'm just so blessed. Like I, I mean, like I said, I don't have to work as much overtime for a little bit. Like that's really, really nice. Like I have vacation days. I can take a vacation. I have personal days. I have sick, I have all the time off days. I don't take them very often, but I have them. For sure. Right? Yeah. I'll be taking pictures of this so proud. <laughs> Every time you mow, you'll be like, yeah. It's all God. Yeah. He's the master. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Wow.
So wow, what an incredible video, y'all. We are wrapping things up here in Crown Point. Been here for several days running around doing all of this content, but at the end of the day, it has been such an incredible experience. And obviously you guys see what we were able to do. We were able to take our platform, partner with Ego. Thank you so much, Ego, for jumping on board. You guys didn't even hesitate when I came to you with this project. And my employees and associates from Yard Mastery, I wanna thank you all too, because all of the hard work that you do goes into making this happen. And I hope we can do many, many more videos like that. There's so many people out there that we can help that are within our DIY community. And I hope that more companies will jump on board just like Ego has done. But again, Ego, you're the first. I will never forget that and I will always love you. You guys have great products anyway, so it's really nice. And I'm sure Marianne is gonna enjoy the mow with that beautiful new Select Cut mower. So with that, y'all, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you also, our audience, and I ask that you share this video. I don't ask that a lot. You guys know that. I'm not those guys, that guy that says thumbs up and share. But if there's one video you're gonna share, I would hope this would be the one. Share it on all the social media that you have. Let's get this out there and let's show folks what we can do in the DIY community. With that, I'm Alan Hayne, The Lawn Care, and I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the lawn.